Let's do this. Freedom cross board, okay? Uh, new shoe for Saucony. There it is. So a white colorway. Uh, man, power run PB through that midsole. Very exciting. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. But first, blue bar on your screen. I just got to get rid of them. Uh, Adidas, I'm not sure. Thank you. Uh, Boston 11s, my size. Instagram, you know the drill. First person to tag me in their stories with an Adidas Boston 11, proving that you wear seven and a half US. They sent me an extra pair. I just don't need them. All right, Boston 11s, nice. I mean, durable shoe. I think they're about $80 at this point, but started off at $160. Oh yeah, full review for the Boston 11 is over on uh, the homepage of the site. Uh, I think it's on DeBoer Global Running, uh, but if not, it'll be up there very, very soon. All right, four millimeter drop, 27, 23, neutral twist. Oh, lots of geese, flock of geese. That's exciting. Wow, that is more than I expected, okay? Seven uh, point four for the women's size eight, my size 8.1, a little, Anything over eight isn't going to get quite as good a score, but it's not crazy heavy, all right? But there you go. Still pretty solid. Uh, there you have it. Upper material, lightweight mesh. Loving it. Semi-gusset. Love this upper material. It's very breathable. Um, gosh, I don't even know. It's hard. I was trying to think. I think they nailed it. I just got to tell you, they nailed this upper, nailed the material. I wish it was hot and humid out. I would absolutely, especially in a white colorway, this would be a great summer running shoe, okay? It's it's just got that nice material going on. Not a, um, it is a stout heel counter actually, but it's not, um, they could maybe add a little bit of extra padding there through the, it's not bad, but a little bit of extra padding there through the heel counter. It's a little different than the Ride 16, which we'll be publishing very soon as well on the channel. I'm liking the upper. All right, good job there. Power Run PB felt great, okay? Power Run PB, it's just a nice lattice structure construction uh, through the midsole material. And let's do the, it is, there's the, I believe we're looking at four uh, low 40s for the durometer, okay? So that's actually where, about where I like it. And the thumb test is good, but outsole, they plastered it and I think it's impacting the ride a little bit and the energy return a little bit and frankly right now I, at my thumb test okay it's fine not the end of the world um I almost pulling it out of the box thought it was a stability shoe because there is so much rubber on the, it's the power track rubber outsole but um it's not and I but durability boom there it is on your screen I think it's gonna boost, I think you could get a lot of miles out of the shoe. It's it's not, um, yeah, I, I just, for me, I don't like a lot of rubber on the outsole of my shoes, but it is gonna boost that durability, okay? So there you have it for the outsole fit, comfort, uh, soak it in, durability prediction, 500 plus, as I already said, and that price point coming in at $150, a little high, okay, for a, neutral road running shoe. I'd love it at 140, be much happier at 130. And so 100, it's, it's, but, 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 I, I get it. I'm telling you, they didn't mess around on this outsole. I, I think it's gonna go for a long, long time for you. Oh, I'm trying to think about how I would use this shoe. I think um, daily training and middle distance. I don't think I would take it quite to long run. I think it could, but it's just better. Oh, Triumph 20. All right, over on Demor, go read that shoe. That's a lot of people actually, was it Ted or was it Tim? Oh, sorry, I'm not remembering your, your name. He just sent in his 500 plus mile photos for, uh, for the Saucony Triumph 20. All right, so he took it up to 500 miles, took pictures, and now they're posted over on the Triumph 20. So I, but it's, it, it, you could do long runs in the shoe. It just wouldn't be my first option. It's a good, it's an exciting shoe actually. actually. And the, the twist test kind of shocked me. I'm sh a little surprised it's twisting that much, but um, man, I'm trying to just think like, why did they make this shoe? What's the difference between, you know, the Triumph 20, 
Um, the Ride 16, well, the Ride 16 is just power run midsole. Hmm, but it's another, another shoe for the running shoe rotation quiver, which continues to grow and grow in 2023. Other shoes to buy, all right. I went, you know, Kinvara 14, I just put it on there because I love that shoe. Made it into the eights, I do, yes, made it into the eights, but it's like two ounces, um, no, about an ounce and a half lighter than this guy. But Kinvara 14 is a great, great shoe. Dynablast 3, 1080 V12 to a certain extent. Um, and then, actually, I even thought of the Pegasus 39 to a certain extent. I would say that one might be a little bit of a stretch, but I'd say the closest one might be the 1080 V12 from last year. Shoe quick specs one more time. All right, four millimeter drop, lightweight mesh on that upper, uh, power run PB, and there, once again, is the durometer scores, which is a new spec to soak in on this page at the end, toward the end of every vlog. I'm not shocked that the full review score landed at seven. It, it's, it's about right. I think the price point would have helped if that would have been a little lower, would have been a little more like 7.3, which a lot of shoes land, just so you know, like for the scoring system, obviously anything over eights is great. A lot of shoes land in the 7.3 range. That's kind of the average-ish is what we're learning. And then below seven is, you know, yeah, 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 something to be desired. All right, for the future iterations. Comment of the day, David, here you go. I started in the Convara 7. The versions keep getting better. Interested if the stack height makes a difference. For the Convara 14, he's talking about more of a firmer shoe overall, but that's what it it uh, that's what makes it great. Thank you, Seth. David, you get the comment of the day and question of the day. I don't know how I thought of this. What small gesture from a stranger made a big difference in your life? All right, I just there's the moments in our life where a stranger does something for you and you're like, wow, that was amazing. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking like airports. I feel like sometimes good things can really happen at airports because it's frantic and chaotic and like a stranger can reach. Oh, definitely. Like, especially when you're traveling with kiddos. Anyway, that's the question of the day. Love y'all. We'll go, we'll go Saucony running shoe playlist. Lots of Saucony shoes right there, right there. All right, give it a, give it a, give it a listen. All right, see beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.